Hello friends, in this video we would set up application with basic architecture so that we can initiate application coding. In the previous video we have created a new project for friends forever and installed necessary software to work with the code. In this video we will create a basic architecture for the application. Now these application architecture changes would include database creation and then we will create a new table for holding the user records or user details. Then we will create an EDMX file in our solution and then map the database tables to EDMX file using DB first approach and then we will implement dependency injection framework using simple injector. Then we'll create controller action and view for our register functionality. Now let's go to SSMS and I'll go to object explorer. I'll right click on databases folder and then select new database I'm going to name my new database as friends forever and click OK this would create a new database for me so if you expand this databases folder at the bottom you could see did friends forever database expand it and expand the tables folder as well so currently there are no tables I'll click on tables folder select new table and now I'm going to create columns for my table. So the first column would be ID. It would be integer and it would be not null. I want this ID to be a primary key and having identity. So I'll specify identity specification. So I want my column to be identity. So I'll select yes and make sure your identity increment and identity seed is 1 so this would ensure like your column would start from 1 and it will always increment by 1 okay now uh, I'll create other columns so the next column I'm going to have is first name to store the first name for the users okay then I'll have last name Okay, so this would also be of same size. Then I'm going to have email column to store the email for the users. Okay. And then finally, I'm going to have column for storing password for the users. And all these columns are also not null. So you have to provide some values to these columns. Now once your uh, details are done for the tables press ctrl s so this would give you a dialog box to give the name to the table before saving so I'm going to name it as user details and click on ok so this would create a table for us that is user details and if you refresh this table folder you'll see a new table user details with columns you specified and id as a primary key so our database creation and table creation is done we'll move to our next step that is creating edmx file so i'll click on add so basically right click on models folder i'm going to add it to models folder then select new item under visual c sharp data select adio.net entity data model and then name it as uh, friends forever ff entities click on add so this would ask you to uh, select a strategy so we are going to select EF designer from database so we are going to create EDMX file from database click on next so this is asking me to create a new connection so I'll create a new connection server name I'm going to give it as dot which is the local server I'm using Windows authentication so based on your server name this drop down populates the databases so we've just created our new database that is friends forever I'll click on test connection to basically test our connection and it has succeeded and then click on OK okay now this has basically created a connection string this is our connection string and then we'll click on next so this dialog box is asking us to choose the tables views or different constructs of SQL to basically shown on the EDMX file so we just want user details currently we have only one table to choose 
there are certain check boxes to choose options so we are we don't want our entities to be pluralized or singularized so we are basically unchecking this checkbox this is to basically this checkbox checkbox is to include foreign keys so currently we don't have uh, any foreign key between tables we just have single table so it doesn't matter if you check it or uncheck it but we usually check it so that we can see in the uh, edmx designer which table is connected to which other table so i'll click on finish so this would generate our edmx file and you would see a uh, entity being created so this is our user details entity okay it has all the columns currently it has no navigation properties that means it has no foreign key now click on the designer and press F4 so this would open a properties window and you would see the code generation strategy as T4 so in the previous version of Visual Studio or you could say the previous entity framework version it would allow you to select another approach one more approach that is legacy uh, in that approach the POCO classes are not generated but in case of T4 the POCO classes are generated the POCO classes are these classes you can see the user details class is being generated for respective entity and these class these classes would generate for each table you basically port on this edmx file from the database okay i'll get back to the diagram and press f4 again so this is our connection string this would be automatically embedded to our web config once you add the edmx file and this is our container name friends forever entities lazy loading is enabled by default and uh, you'd see the pluralized new object is false this is because we have unchecked that checkbox and that's it about edmx file so uh, we have added our edmx file as well so you would see this pop-up coming again again and again so what this pop-up is doing this is doing basically reading the entities in the edmx file and creating that poco classes so every time you click save on the edmx file this process would run okay now creating and adding edmx file is also done now the next step is implementing di framework using simple injector so for that i have to go to our global.asax and here i'm going to implement that and if uh, I'm not going to explain everything about Simple Injector, uh, but if you want to learn more about Simple Injector, you could go to our dependency injection playlist, and there is a video which basically explains about Simple Injector. For Simple Injector, we'll create a container which will have all the all the registrations. okay so you can see using simple injector so you have to import this namespace here now before that I need to have a service and interface in order to register with the container so for that I am going to add a new column new folder to this project and going to name it as services now for logon and register I already have a controller that is security controller on the same lines I'm going to have a service for security purposes so I'm going to name it as security service oh, instead of folder so delete this folder I meant to add a class so I'll add a new class to this folder and I'm going to name it as security service okay and this service is going to basically implement an interface then only it would basically uh, implement dependency injection properly along with creating loosely coupled application okay so we'll select generate new type and I want it to be an interface okay so that interface is created I just want that interface to be marked public okay so if you check the service folder there would be one interface for security service and one class that is its implementation now we can go back to our global.asx code and then register our 
concrete is basically the type so our type is security service i security service so we have to include a namespace to access these interface and classes and the second parameter is, is its implementation that is security service and the registration is done then the next part is register MVC controllers so we want the context or extent of this simple injector to be MVC controllers and the parameter is asking it's what in what assemblies you want the simple injector to work so we'll say assembly we want to access assembly class and we'll get the get executing assembly so whatever assembly we are currently running on in all those controllers in that assembly we want a simple injector to work and the final thing is dependency injection resolver dot set current resolver into new simple injector okay then basically we are setting the dependency dependency injection resolver it takes the container object and that's it you are ready with the dependency injection framework using simple injector now the next part is basically creating the controller action and view so we already have a security controller we are just going to create a action method for uh, register functionality and we are going to return a view from this okay and we'll right click on this action method we'll say add view we want it to be empty view with layout so we'll just click on add this would add the register view to our application so we've done our basic architecture work that is we have created our database we've created our first table for storing the user details then we have created our edmx file which would act as a orm for us and then we have imported our table from the database to the edmx using database first approach then we have implemented di framework using simple injector and then we've created our action method and added a view for register functionality so we've done with this video and in the next video we would start with implementing the register functionality and we would basically design our register view then create a form for user to enter the details save validate the details and saving it to the database so that's it for this video thank you friends